Alright guys, today or this session here for a skill session, we're going to work on kicking. Again, depends on where you are, what you have. You can use a rugby ball if you got it, soccer ball, football, even a tennis ball. It's just really the mechanics of the act, of the motion. Okay, so we've done this, these little skill drills in our sessions at times. So just when you see us, you'll be aware of what we're talking about. So first off, you're gonna, if you have a partner, that's great. Or you can use a wall, a couch, a fence, what, whatever is around you. It's not perfect, but just make the best of the situation. So you'd be about you know four to five meters away to start with. And again, it's working on the skill. Not we're not looking at power. We're not looking at distance. We want to learn how to get a feel for the ball on our foot and where to kick it and where the sweet spot is in the ball. So the more that you practice kicking even in short distance, the better feel for the ball you have. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to have feet kind of shoulder width apart. You're going to balance on one foot, okay, and get a bend on the, a, a little bit of bend in your knee, but bring your other foot up to a, sort of uh, 90 degrees. Okay, so when I'm looking at my target, or my partner is going to put his hands up, and I'm just going to slowly Bring my foot around, contact the ball, and then follow through after I make uh, contact, okay? And then I'm just going to hold it for a second, okay? And then it's a, if you have a partner, they can give you some feedback saying, uh, you know, a little high, a little low, whatever, okay? So then you can do, um, you know, one with your left, one with your right, one with your left. You can go all day long if you like. There you go, good one, right to the target. Didn't hold the follow through. So another thing you can focus on is the drop of the ball. You want to be consistent. Everything should be the same, or same mechanics. That way you can get better at it. Hold the ball in a certain way. You're not dropping it from up high. You're dropping it from around your hips, and you're bringing the foot to the ball. Okay, and then it's maybe a little ball is vertical or so with a little angle. Just tap it, follow through. Thanks. There you go. Yeah, and we go then make sure you're going bouncing back and forth between right and left. So go through the mechanics, one leg, bend, looking at the target, follow through. Okay, and as you're getting more, as you're getting more comfortable with the drill and your, your skills improve, you can back up a bit. Again, it's not really, nothing about this is about kicking at 40 meters. It's about learning how to control the ball and where you want to make contact. So we'll have a, we'll take a few steps back just to get a little bit more distance, but it's the same idea. I'm trying to put it to the target, not over him, not around him. Okay, under control, get in that same position. A little bit to the right. Maybe the drop. Yeah, the drop was a wanky. There you go, that's a good one. And then we'll go with my left. That's the money ball. Ooh. A little crooked. Remember, we want to follow through at the target after and hold it. Okay, so we'll get, maybe we'll take one more step back for today, but really, most of you probably don't have much more room than this. Uh, but again, work with your surroundings. If you have a garage, outdoor patio, your parents' dining room with all their expensive uh, <laughs> crystal. Nice. Oh, the lift. Okay, so that again, review. It's really about repetition. It's really about being slow, taking your time, working on the skill, not so much the, uh, the distance, but working on how that ball feels when you drop it to your foot and where you want to make contact with so you can have the best sort of rotation on the ball or the best feel for the ball, okay? We'll see you again on another episode of Skills.